In today's video, we're going to be looking at the comparison of the German Short Head Pointer and the Golden Retriever. These two sizable dogs are both beloved for different reasons, many of which will be explored in this video. Let's get started. So let's get into today's video, where we'll be looking at the differences between the German Short Head Pointer and the Golden Retriever. We'll start with a quick look at their noteworthy history. The German short head pointer was created to fulfil the need for a versatile hunting dog due to the rise of the German Empire in the 1880s. The heightened demand for meat and hides required a dog with a sensitive nose, discipline and an instinct to focus on the hunt. The German short head pointer we know today were developed from old Spanish pointers and Brock Francais with the addition of German bloodhounds for tracking and scent work purposes, while also softening the breed's temperament. In the 1860s, this mixture was further crossed with English pointers to improve their speed and pointing instincts. The end product was a sleek, intelligent, loyal and versatile gun dog with incredible stamina, a highly developed pointing instinct and an eagerness to retrieve game. Now, the Golden Retriever has a history based largely upon chance. In 1865, a Scottish noble, Lord Tweedmouth, purchased a golden wavy haired retriever called Noose from a cobbler on the streets of Brighton. This chance purchase is made even more remarkable when you learn that the black retrievers were favoured as working dogs and other colour variations were often disposed of. After working the dog for three years at his stately home in Scotland, Noose was mated with Belle, a tweed water spaniel. This pairing created a robust hunter, capable of navigating both land and water to hunt grouse, partridge and even deer. The litter produced in 1868, cowslip, crocus and primrose, are now considered to be the first true golden retrievers. Now that we know a little bit about the history of the breeds, let's look into a brief comparison of their strikingly different appearances. Both of these breeds are similar height and weight. The male German short head pointer stands at around 23 to 25 inches to the shoulder and weighs 30 kilograms at its healthiest. The male golden retriever stands at 23 to 24 inches and is healthier also 30 kilograms, whereas the female stands at 21 to 23 inches and should be around 27 kilograms. Now, the German short head pointer has a short, smooth coat, which is typically speckled across the body and legs in a common liver and white paired with a solid liver head. These dogs are athletic to look at, with a large barrel chest, powerful hindquarters and a typically docked tail. They have alert expressions, bright eyes and wide sleek ears that hang below their jowls. This aids scent work as their ears trail along the ground, picking up as many smells as possible. When moving, they are to be elegant and sure-footed, which is a testament to their working heritage in a versatile terrain. The Golden Retriever is structurally similar in respect to their deep chest and muscular physique. However, they possess a slightly broader skull than the German short head pointer, with smaller ears that hang above their jowls as they have little need to pick up all the scents they come across. They possess an inherently friendly expression. This is arguably what has made them one of the most popular family pets. Their suitability to family life is aided by their sturdy stance and sure gait. And the most noticeable difference from the German short head pointer is their coat. It should be soft and wavy with a feathered effect on their chest and tail. The colour can vary between a deep gold to a light beige with lightened fur across the chest and tail. However, an all white coat is not recognised in the official breed standard. Enough about the aesthetics, we'll now look into the temperaments of the two breeds. It should come as no surprise that these dogs thrive in a busy, active lifestyle. Loyalty and close bond to their family are what can be expected from a German short head pointer, but this can lead to them being incapable of coping of being alone for extended periods of time. If they're left in an unstimulating environment, they tend to display destructive behaviours, but this may never be an issue should you provide the right setting for them. They are also best suited to an experienced dog owner or those that can allow for their German short hair pointers to be predominantly outside exploring or working. Another key aspect of this dog's personality is that they instinctively have a very high prey drive. This is something that can only be curbed by consistent, strong training. Even so, you should be wary when your German short hair pointer is off lead because it can prove too tempting to most should a rabbit come into its eye line. Whilst the Golden Retriever also responds well to mental stimulation, they are eager to please people. Their affectionate nature makes them more suited to service dog duties. The breed standard for this dog is that they're friendly, reliable and trustworthy. With the proper socialisation, they are even-tempered, playful and gentle with children, but it is worthy to note to never leave dogs and children unattended, no matter the breed. They are also one of the more intelligent breeds and they respond well to positive reinforcement they aim to please. And like their ancestors News and Belle, they are working dogs, they thrive with consistent training and structure in their life. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there.
Time to explore the typical health expectancies. If properly cared for, these dogs have similar life expectancies. A German Shorthead Pointer can be with you for up to 14 years and a Golden Retriever up to 12. Now, due to similarities in their physical stature, they share some of the same common ailments. Both breeds are typical to suffer from either hip or elbow dysplasia. This can be prevented with responsible breeding, but it won't outlaw it completely. Cancer is another devastating health issue common with both breeds. Close communication with your vet and the right insurance can help spot the early signs that something isn't right, hopefully preventing any serious issues arising. To focus on the German Shorthead Pointer, a very common and very serious health concern is bloating. Their deep chest allows for their stomach to twist should enough gas develop. This is known as GDV, gastric dilation and volvulus. Should this happen, surgery is the only response to return the stomach to its proper position. Ways to prevent this is to use a slow feeder, not exercising for at least an hour after food and serving smaller portions throughout the day. Aside from this, should they be fed properly and cared for in a suitable manner, these dogs are generally healthy. The previous notes are just things that you should be aware of before you think of buying one. Now to the Golden Retriever. Despite the previously mentioned issues, this breed can live a long, happy life should they be cared for properly. They have a higher maintenance coat than the German Shorthead Pointer and should be groomed once a week to keep skin issues at bay. Weekly ear cleaning is also a must to prevent matting and infection. And whilst it isn't a technical health issue, it is worth mentioning that the majority of retrievers are commonly seen in surgery due to ingesting foreign bodies, whether that be socks, toys or rocks. Keeping an eye on what's in their mouth is a must from a young age. Now for more on their training and intelligence. It could be argued that a German Shorthead Pointer is best suited to a working lifestyle or a hunting family, but this isn't a necessity should you provide the correct stimulation. As mentioned, they are highly intelligent and so need to be consistently trained with stimulating activities. A firm hand is best when training this breed. They have been known to ignore commands should they feel their attention is spent best elsewhere. For example, you may struggle to recall a pointer if they have already caught the scent of a rabbit. They need structure in their life. All in all, they are loyal to their owners and love to work. Keeping them occupied with fun, stimulating training is what will give them a high quality of life with you. Much like the pointer, the Golden Retriever is also very intelligent and aims to please. They are eager to learn, which is what makes them so popular as service dogs. Even from a young age, they are susceptible to training and positive reinforcement, so you can teach good habits into them from the moment that you get them home. The only minor pitfall is that you may need to remind your pup of the task that you've given them if they become a little bit overexcited. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget that if you're new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated German Shorthead Pointer videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you on the next episode of the German Shorthead Pointer Show.